In this video, I'll be showing you how to use ThorSwap on ThorChain. ThorChain is a decentralized liquidity network that allows for cross-chain asset swaps in a non-custodial manner. I do believe that ThorSwap has the potential to become the de facto cryptocurrency decentralized exchange in the future, and they have recently added Terra Luna, UST, and they will be adding many more chains in the future, such as the likes of Monero. So I definitely think it is advantageous to learn how to use ThorSwap right now while it is still early in beta, and you do have the opportunity to also earn a decent yield on your tokens inside of ThorSwap. So if you want to learn how to use ThorSwap, this is the video for you. So be sure to stick with me until the very end. Without further ado, let's get right into it and let the gains be with you. Welcome to Crypto Empire. My name is Connor and this is where we dominate the crypto market. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. We are here now on the ThorChain website and we can read that ThorChain is the decentralized and autonomous cross-chain liquidity network. And like I said in the intro to the video, the mission of ThorChain is to provide access to native and cross-chain liquidity to any person, product, or institution. This is a no KYC decentralized exchange that allows you to swap native assets. We're talking native Bitcoin to native Ethereum or native BNB on the Binance Smart Chain. This is a very powerful protocol. It is still in its chaos net, which is its beta version. Its full version is not yet live. So you were here early. Let's get right into how to use for swap. So you're first gonna need a wallet. I would recommend to learn how to use the XDeFi wallet. This is the first multi-chain wallet with a built-in DEX and bridge aggregator. To download the XDeFi wallet, all you have to do is come on over to their Twitter account and you can see they have available here. Just click on the link, it's gonna take you to the Google Chrome store where you can go ahead and add the extension to your browser if you're on Chrome or if you're on Brave, it will work just fine. So go ahead, set up your XDeFi wallet you're gonna to have to create your username, password, and keep that 12 word phrase in a very safe place off the internet, off of your phone, in a place where nobody will ever see it but you. That is very important and you never give those 12 words to anybody no matter what. Also, please note, if you have the TerraStation wallet installed, you will have to go through a bit of a process to connect the XDeFi wallet to ThorSwap. Go ahead and you can join the XDeFi discord and they can help you doing that it is a little bit of a process it doesn't take long but it's a little bit technical you're gonna have to press some buttons so if you're new to everything cryptocurrency you might have a little bit of difficulty so join their discord and figure out how to set up the xdefi wallet that is if you already have a terra station wallet set up now to get to thor swap it's very simple on the thor chain website click on the ecosystem tab and then from here come down a little bit and click on swap slash pool interfaces and it will take you to this link and you're gonna to wanna to hit ThorSwap up here. And then from here, you can click on the web application and it's gonna take you right on over to ThorSwap. So this is what the interface does look like. We can read right here that Luna and UST is now available on ThorSwap. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is of course connect our wallet. So here in the top right corner, we'll go ahead and hit connect. Now we will be prompted with a few different options. XDeFi wallet is really the best because it allows you to have all of your different native blockchain assets in one wallet. Also the key store wallet does work as well. This is what I was using before, but I have just set up an XDeFi wallet for this tutorial video. So let's go ahead and connect our XDeFi wallet. And I have preloaded this with a little bit of cryptocurrency. Go ahead and show you that I do have one Terra Luna in here as well as five rune tokens for this tutorial video. So what can you do on ThorSwap? Why is it so special? So we are looking at the dashboard right now and this does give you a lot of the basic stats such as the total value locked of the network. At the current moment in time, the total value locked inside of ThorSwap is $968 million. So they are raising the caps on this and we can also see some other key stats such as the total volume, 24 hour volume, etc., etc. Now if we scroll down, we can see all the assets already on ThorSwap. They will be adding many more assets in the future they already do have the main blockchains such as Terra, native Bitcoin, native Ethereum, native BNB, the Rune token. They also have Litecoin, they have Dogecoin, Bitcoin Cash, etc. So now let's go through how to perform a cross-chain asset swap. To do so is very simple. You can either hit the swap button here on the main dashboard page, or you can head on over to the left side of the screen and select the swap option 
and it's going to take you to the decentralized exchange interface. Now from here, you want to select the asset that you do want to swap from. So let's say that I want to swap my native rune for native Luna. That is very simple. I can go ahead and do so by selecting Luna now over here. And I do have the option to select the synthetic version of Luna. The synthetic version is all held on the four chain blockchain. So I won't actually be going cross chain interoperable if I do choose the synthetic version. This option is here for convenience and speed because if you're gonna to swap to native Bitcoin, it may take a while for that transaction to go through on the Bitcoin blockchain. If you want it instant, you can use the synthetic version. But I'll go native cross chain here. So here we have Rune to Terra Luna. So I wanna to swap to Rune over to Luna. That's gonna be 0.165 Luna in my wallet. So let's go ahead and hit swap. And go ahead and now it's going to confirm the swap. All of the details, zero slippage. Transaction fee of 0.02 rune that is to swap from Thorchain and then we're going to go on the Terra network and we'll pay a small fee of 0.01 for Luna. That's a total fee of $1.32 for a cross-chain asset swap. We can go ahead and confirm that. Now we will have to confirm it in our XDeFi wallet. Okay, so we'll go ahead and confirm this transaction. And now we will confirm our password and confirm the transaction. Okay, so after about one minute, it was very quick. The transaction did actually go through. We can see it is confirmed up here in the top right of my screen. Now, if we check my XDeFi wallet, we can go ahead and see that the transaction did actually go through, that it did actually work. And we can see I now have two less Rune and 0.165 more Luna. So ThorSwap does work, allows you to swap completely interoperable cross chain. And you can go from Rune to Ethereum, Bitcoin, BNB on the Binance chain, etc. They will be adding more in the future. When they do add Monero, I get asked all the time on my Monero privacy coin videos, what's going to happen when they ban Monero from the centralized exchanges? Force swap is happening. That is not an issue for Monero at all. You cannot say that is a reason that Monero won't do well. Right? There are already many cross-chain asset swaps in the works. Force swap once they add Monero, that objection will be completely obliterated. So I never want to hear that again, that Monero won't do well because it's going to get taken off of centralized exchanges. I don't know where you're getting that information from, but I would suggest that you do stop watching the television because you won't get any good information from there, especially about privacy coins and cryptocurrency. So again, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Empire so you are in the know and you know exactly how to navigate all the different landscapes in the cryptocurrency space. So that's how you do perform cross-chain asset swaps. So for the example in this video, let's go ahead and provide liquidity for Terra Luna. So all we have to do, this is a 16% APY, 11% on Bitcoin is very good. Right, you're holding native Bitcoin and earning 11% yield. Keep in mind, there is no risk of impermanent loss as well on ThorSwap because every single day after you do provide liquidity, they will increase your impermanent loss percentage by 1%. So after 100 days, you will be 100% covered from impermanent loss, providing liquidity on ThorSwap. That is very powerful. That is zero risk to you for providing that liquidity. That is definitely something to consider. So let's go ahead and hit liquidity here on the Terra Luna option. And it will take us to right back to the page over here, the decentralized exchange page. So now we have the option to provide both Luna and Rune, or we can simply just provide Luna. This is single-sided LP. If you ever use something such as Osmosis, it's very similar, where I will go ahead and provide the Luna here, and then on the back end, it's gonna convert 50% of it to Rune and add that to the LP pool. All right, so you do have the option to do single side of liquidity providing if that does interest you. So for the example, let's go ahead and let's do single sided LP. Let's go ahead and add one Luna to the pool. So we'll go ahead and hit one, and then we'll hit add liquidity. There will be a fee of 34 cents paid in Luna to do so. So let's hit add liquidity here and confirm this transaction again. This is very simple. It's pretty much common sense if you've ever used any decentralized exchange before. But again, I wanna show you this video so it's crystal clear and you never have any difficulties in the future if you do decide to use ThorSwap. So I did just go ahead and confirm that transaction. We will now wait for the transaction to go through. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes and the transaction to add the Luna to the liquidity pool here on ThorSwap is still pending. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue on with the video. We'll see if the transaction does actually confirm or if that Luna is just now lost in the black hole oblivion of ThorSwap. I think it will go through, but nonetheless, let's keep it moving. So that is the basic premise of how to use ThorSwap right now. You can either swap or add liquidity. The yields are very healthy 
and you do hold the native asset. Keep in mind, obviously, it may take a little bit for the transaction to add liquidity to go through. So we'll have to make a follow-up video to see if it actually does go through or not. I will let you know about that. Nonetheless, that is how you do add liquidity. Now, before I wrap up the video, I do want to show you one last thing in regards to ThorChain. And that is basically how the liquidity does work. Because ThorChain does have the opportunity to become a liquidity black hole and suck in billions of dollars of total value locked. We can go ahead and read right here about the Rune token. So if over 80% of circulating Rune gets locked into ThorChain liquidity pools, by economic design, Rune's market cap should be a minimum of 3x the value of all non-Rune assets locked into ThorChain liquidity pools. Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Doge, etc. So if there's a billion dollars of Bitcoin, there should be a minimum of $3 billion of ThorChain for that pool. So the more Rune holders provide liquidity with their Rune, the more accurate deterministic Rune becomes. At the current moment in time, 70% of Rune is locked in ThorChain liquidity pools today. So 70% of all Rune is already locked up, and this is only going to be going up in the future. So Rune has, in my opinion, a very bright future ahead. ThorSwap did have some hacks in the past, but nobody actually lost money in those hacks. You can see that in the price chart, right? Price, if I go to the daily chart, Price did drop as low as $4 previously, $3.50 during that last hack. It did recover all the way back up to around $16. Now price is trading at around $7.73. It is in a key support level on the chart. And if price does end up dropping lower, I would be looking around the golden pocket of the current swing high to the swing low. That will take place right at around $6.90, also in a demand level. And if it does decide to drop even further than that, there is another demand level right around $6.30. So here, $6.90 and $6.30 are your closest main levels on the chart for the Rune token. If you were wondering what the best price is, not financial advice, but these are definitely opportune buying levels if you're looking to scoop up some Rune. It is a very strong pick of mine. I do hold it in my own portfolio. So in this video, I showed you step-by-step -step how to use ThorSwap on the ThorChain network. I do think that ThorSwap has the potential to be a huge decentralized exchange in the future as centralized exchanges begin to lose their popularity for various reasons that I won't be discussing right now. Nonetheless, I hope that you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you let me know by leaving a like. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below and if you're new to crypto empire and you are not already subscribed go ahead right now and smash the subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so that you don't miss any future videos and my name is connor from crypto empire and i will see you in the next video